So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create beautiful and realistic terrain landscape with using Biome Reader add-on. See guys, that's my beautiful composition. It's really simple and best tutorial for beginners. And now guys, I show you my final render. See guys, that's my final render preview. It's looking really realistic view. So close. And guys, now I teach you how I create this type of beautiful composition. Okay, so guys, go to on here, file, and I create new composition. Yes, so guys, select all and press delete key. So first of all, guys, I'm going to take a landscape, this one. And I change landscape presets. So guys, I like this one, lake. Yeah, and guys, I change. Yes. Okay, so guys, go to on here, river. Yeah, I like river. Right. And guys, now I increase size, so select all. Press A and scale size 3. Yeah. And tough. See guys, that's my scale size. Right. And next one guys, I take camera. So camera check. Guys, set your camera angle. So guys, closer. Camera angle check. Yes. I Guys, select your camera and rotation 90. 0 and 0. Yeah. And guys, X1 and Y1 little bit back. Yes. Okay. So guys, select your landscape and guys this one little bit up like this yes see so guys that's my simple path and now guys this time i apply subdivision surface for this one plane and guys go to on edit mode and right click guys use subdivision guys use subdivision and guys subdivision cut i like 10 and one more time subdivision i like this time 5 5 is good i create low poly effect Okay, so guys, now all is good. So guys, this time I apply texture. So go to on shading and guys see that's my landscape plane and I create new. So guys, select your principal BSDF and holding control shift and press T. Yes, guys, I have texture. So guys, go to on here. Dirty flow. Yeah, this one and import. Yes, and now. Guys, I change UV, so select and press tab and press U and smart UV project check. That's it, guys. Okay, so now go to on here, object mode. And guys, this time I change UV. So guys, go to on here. That's my mapping. So mapping, I like three, three and three. Yes, right. Okay, so next one, guys, I apply this time grass effect on this one. So guys, I create new. And guys, select this principle and same control shift T. So guys, go to back. And this time, guys, I apply grass material. Select and import. Yes. And guys, same. Press tab, press U and smart UV project check. That's it, guys. Right? See. And next one, guys, I apply this time. Actually, scale size, I like 2. 2 and 2. Yeah, that's it guys. Right? And camera check. Okay, so guys, now I go to on render setting. I use cycle render and divide GPU check. And max amp 256 is good for me. 256. That's it guys. Okay, so guys, now go to on layout. And guys, camera check. And guys, go to on here. That's my word property. Guys, I apply sky texture. So use sky texture. This one. And sky size, I like 1. And intensity, I like 0 0.6 is good. Yeah. And see guys, that's my sun rotation. I like 80. And ozone, I like 8. And strength, I like 0 0.6. Yes. So guys, click on here. Viewport, shading mode. Yes. See guys, that's looking really good. So guys, select your plane. And little bit up, little bit. Yes. Good. See guys, that's my path. And second one, that's for my grass effect. Okay, so now, guys, go to on here. Change, preview. And guys, this time, I apply this time. Biome Reader add-on. So use grass. So Biome Reader check. Guys, landscape check. And Biome Reader check. And see guys, that's my presets. But guys, I like grass 11. This one. Yes, so guys close, but guys see that's not correct. So guys select your landscape, go to on object 
and apply use all transform check yeah that's it guys right okay so guys now i change size grass size i like 0 0.2 and guys i increase density like a 1000 enter yes and random 0 0.5 that's it guys and go to on red flower guys size 0 0.3 and guys density i like 200 and guys random 0 0.5 enter and lastly guys select this white flower and density 200 is good and guys size 0 0.3 Guys, little bit more. So, yeah, good. And random 0 0.5. Yes, that's it, guys. So, guys, go to on render preview. So, click on here. Yeah, that's some beautiful flower. Guys, I change size. So, size change. So, select like a 0 0.15 half. Yes, and same white flower. Like a 0 0.15. Yes, much better. Right? See, guys. Okay, so now, guys, all is good. And this time, I apply some rock effect on this one. So, guys, go to an app. And I apply this time asset browser. See, guys, that's my different, different style of assets. So, guys, I apply rock effect like this. And apply. Yeah. And, guys, closer. So, guys, attach on plane. Attach, yes, and change scale size like this. Yeah, so guys, camera check. Yes, much better. And guys, now I change this time different style of rock like this. And same scale size change and rotate. Rotate randomly. Yes, and guys, attach on flow. Yes, good. Right, and guys, I apply this time more grass like this that's my white grass and change scale size yes right and guys now i apply more grass so guys this time select your grass and select this landscape so go to one object and use scatter object check okay so guys create shape like this that's my scatter and see guys that's my scale size i like one and enter Yes. See guys, that's my grass. And camera check. And guys, one more time, click on here, render preview. Yes. See guys, that's beautiful effect. And now, guys, close. And I apply this time more different style of grass. So guys, go to down. Yeah. See guys, that's my lots of grass. So guys, that's my rock. And guys, little bit down. Yes, good. And guys, now I apply this time. See guys, that's my tree. So guys, go to on up. And guys, see that's my different style of grass. So apply like this. Yeah, it's good. So guys, scale size change. Scale size change like this. More. Yes, good. So guys, press camera. Camera check. And guys, little bit up. Yes, and guys, now duplicate, press Ctrl C and V and apply it on here. So, guys, simple drag and drop and rotate. Yes, and camera check. Yeah, that's it, guys. So, guys, one more time, click on render preview. Yes, that's looking really good, right? And now, guys, you can apply flower, more flower. So go to on up. See guys, that's my different, different style of flowers. So apply like this. Yes. And guys, I change size. So scale size change. Yes. And more. Okay. So guys, same. Select your landscape. And scatter object check. And apply. And apply on here. Yes. It's looking really good. Right. It's really simple. And scale size is good. So press enter. Yes. See guys, that's my flowers. Okay, so now, guys, all is good. So guys, I show you my preview. Yeah. See guys, that's my flower. And lots of grass. And next one, guys, I apply this time background. Here, background. So guys, this time, I take one more landscape. 
landscape check and guys i change landscape different style of presets like this one yeah and go to on here so guys go to on here yes and little bit off and press camera check yes see guys that's my background and now guys go to on object and guys apply all transform check and guys this time i apply same grass so select and guys go to on here landscape uncheck and guys connect to this one and biome reader check guys this time i apply different style of grass so guys go to on here i like this one grass 5 is also good so click on here yes so close see guys that's good and now i same apply all transform check and guys i change grass setting so guys level change select and guys i change size 0.2 and flower same 0.2 and lastly equals 0.2 yes and increase density so guys density like a 1000 yes and flower like a 200 and guys increase skin size like a 0.4 yes and lastly select this one and 0.4 yes much better and density like a 50 and camera check yes and guys now i show you my render preview so one more time click yes see guys that's looking really good and next one guys i apply this time tree so go to on here guys i have tree model so guys go to on file up and and guys go to on here that smart tree asset check select and go to on object select tree model so up and check yes and now guys i change scale size scale size change like this and guys apply on here more change so guys rotate yeah and guys alignment go to on top view panel so go to on here like this guys i apply more trees different different style of trees so guys select and duplicate press ctrl c and v and increase scale size yeah and press camera check yes so guys scale size change go to on here like this and closer camera check and guys select your tree and up yeah much better see guys that's my final work it's looking really good and now guys select your trees select and duplicate press in ctrl c and v so go to on here yes and guys i apply more so guys scale size change scale size change and go to on here yes really good see guys that's my really cool trees and guys apply on here and guys up like this and camera check and guys duplicate guys change position yes so guys click on zero and render preview check yes see guys that's my beautiful trees and beautiful landscape and now guys i apply more trees so stop and guys select your all trees select and duplicate so press ctrl c and v so apply on right side like this and rotate guys like this yeah and guys camera check so guys go to on here guys arrange your trees on frame yeah see guys that's good and select this one apply on background like this so guys press 7 that's my top view panel and apply on here so guys camera check and go to on here and up yeah see guys that's my beautiful composition it's looking same as my final render 
and guys click on render preview final render preview yes it's looking really good okay so guys next one i apply this time guys light so use guys i like sunlight this one and guys go to an up like this and guys little bit rotate rotate like this and guys sun intensity change Let's see guys that's my strength i like it is good okay so now guys i apply more trees on background to so select and duplicate so press 7 and go to on here yes and one more time duplicate like this and guys press camera yeah and guys i change scale size like this yeah good okay so guys my composition is looking really good and next one guys i create fog effect on background so guys i like fog so use cube and cube check guys go to on here and up yes and press camera check guys increase scale size increase size so yeah it's good yeah see guys that's my cure for fog effect so guys select your this one cube and go to shading guys i apply fog material so shading check and guys click on here and guys i create new material so guys select this principal vsdf and uncheck and guys delete like this and go to on add and use principal volume so connect to volume and guys see that's my color guys color i like like a uh, blue effect blue like a u 0.6 and saturation guys i change like a 0 0.7 0 0.7 enter yes and guys density 0 0.2 is good guys little bit more volume yeah like a 0 0.9 enter yes see guys that's my color and go to on layout and press camera check guys one more time click on render preview so closer yes see guys that's looking really good and guys it's take little bit time for render preview right it's looking really good right okay so guys that's it my final work is finished it's looking really good as a my final render that's my final render right and guys so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you